Hassan Piker, our favorite socialist, is losing it right now. It's it's being covered all over the internet. He is losing it. He's he's losing his mind because people have stopped watching his stream. Listen, listen to Hassan here. He is reacting to Tim Pool talking about this issue that that people have just stopped watching Hassan Piker's stream. Look look at this right here. This is this is again our favorite socialist, Hassan Piker reacting to Tim Pool. Let's watch. Start Hassan from the very Piker beginning. is melting down because only 13,000 people watched him on a recent stream. Mm -hmm. According to this image, which purports to be from his Discord, he said, I'm so sad I think the streams are bangers, but people just don't see them. We used to be a community. I hate what my community is becoming. I swear Twitch streaming isn't about the actual content. It's about whether people want to pay attention to you or not and clout. I'm done. I hate this job. I'm not streaming today. I'm going to... So I certainly hope that's not true and he's not actually threatening <laughs> self-harm. I hope he's... So in on Discord, Hassan Biker, after only getting 13,000 viewers, which is a lot, by the way, he he started, like, bitching to his fans, like, arguing with them, asking them why they are not turning out anymore. And I'm going to explain to you at the very end why people have stopped watching Hassan Piker, but let's watch Hassan Piker here cope like I've never seen before. I've never seen anybody cope this hard. Let's watch. Okay. But man, there's a couple things to address. That laugh, by the way, easily one of the worst laughs ever. I think, that bro. Oh no. Here we go. Oh no, dude. They clip chip my Discord, dude. I Hassan Parker viewership dropping off a cliff, down forty percent in the month. I used to like him when he was a stand. Which, by the way, that is true. I I looked at those numbers. His his streams are down forty percent across the board. People are just not watching anymore. And again, towards the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you as to why these these children that watch Hassan have stopped watching his stream. The Bernie guy, but then he decided to go full tanky. He laughed about China invading Taiwan, defended October Seven massacre. He's been evil, Max. From Drew Pavlau, I, I'm not super familiar with who this individual is, but this tweet is going uh, is, is is being passed around. Hassan Piker, for those that aren't familiar, he is the he was the most prominent leftist streamer on Twitch. What do you mean was? Who who is that? <laughs> like my man said, was also uh, Hassan has this thing where he tries to like talk, you know, like like who is then? Like you know what I mean? Like he's he's trying to talk like he's like from Brooklyn or from like East Los like East Los Angeles, but the dude is like a rich Turkish son of a millionaire. Like this is this is true by the way. His dad is a super wealthy guy. He is a trust fund baby. Yet he's putting on this this persona. How does he describe? Is he a socialist? Is that how he described himself? I, I mean, he's a himbo socialist. Yeah. Himbo socialist. Is yeah. that what he says? Well, no, he doesn't say that. <laughs> That's me mocking him. Oh, okay. uh, but wait, I do say that. What is this the, guy? Is... Who is this guy? Why is this divorced dad saying? Uh, why is this divorced dad saying? Dude, he, and, he, and this is something that he always does. He always, if he, always, if he sees that someone is a little bit older, that is what he harps on. Oh, who is this divorced dad? It's like, bro. You're probably like five years younger than him. Like, knock it off, dude. Hang, I don't say that. He's mocking me. I do say that. I actually do say that all the time. Okay, these guys are like, I assume they're like secret admirers, right? Is that what's going on, bro? Is a fan? Okay, okay. He's he's allegedly a socialist. He says that he is culturally not American. Uh, he rejects essentially everything that there is about America. So, well, a what? Oh, that's not true. I love America. What? Whoa, 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 what did he just say? Did he just say he loves America? Because I very distinctly remember Hassan saying something else, and we actually have it here, right here. This is so insane. America deserved 9-11, dude. Fuck it. I'm saying it. That's right. This asshole here just said that America deserved 9-11. And here's the thing, guys. Here's something that I want to point out, okay? Because, quite frankly, I'm going to explain to you as to why people have stopped watching Hassan Biker. And it's because these, these young people that have watched him, they have woken up to the fact that this piece of shit is a grifter. He is spreading the grift of socialism. And make no mistake about it, there is nothing more dangerous to the mind of a young child than socialism. I I would put socialism up there with being exposed to like fentanyl. 
I mean, both destroy your life, both rot your brain, right? I mean, socialism, to the mind of a young child, to an adolescent young mind, right? A teenage young mind, a mind that has not fully developed socialism is equivalent to fentanyl, meth, heroin, every bad drug you can consume all at once. 100%. I truly do mean this, by the way. I don't think I don't think there has been a more destructive force on the minds of our young people than the lie that socialism is somehow going to fix all the ills of the world. Socialism has destroyed countless lives throughout history since its inception, right? Karl Marx, I think if, if we look at what historical figure has caused the demise of more people? I think history will say that Karl Marx has probably the highest body count of all time. I mean, we, we just have to point out the Soviet Union, what happened when Mao rose to power in China. All these socialists, this man loves them, and he has been trying to spew petal this garbage on young people but finally young people are waking up to this nonsense they are waking up to the fact that that socialism that not liking america all of it is just a grift it is bullshit because make no mistake about it ladies and gentlemen america is the best thing we got right now bar none it doesn't even come close yes america is an imperfect country but there is nothing in this in this world, in this realm, in this reality that is perfect except for God. Make no mistake about it. So these assholes right here always harping on socialism as the cure to imperfection, as the key to a utopian society are lying to you because there will never be anything in this world that is perfect. That died 2,000 plus years ago and his name was Jesus Christ. Make no mistake about it. That's what I'm saying to you, and I'm happy that more and more young people have have awakened to this grift, have awakened to this bullshit, and are no longer watching this clown. And it's all going to go downhill from there, and I love it. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments, and like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.